Imagine we're on a big mission to explore outer space. Our goal is to go as far as we can and find galaxies that are really, really far away. Recently, a super cool telescope called the James Webb Space Telescope found something mind-blowing. It spotted 15 galaxies that existed even before the Big Bang. That's like finding ancient history of the universe. This discovery is a big deal because it's like starting a treasure hunt to find the oldest galaxies ever. This telescope has been amazing since it was made. It keeps showing us things we never even dreamed of, making scientists rethink what they know about space. The James Webb Telescope is like a superhero in the science world, showing us things we never thought possible. So those 15 galaxies we found aren't just regular galaxies. They're super special because they're really far away and they look amazing. And get this, they existed even before the Big Bang happened. That's like finding a treasure chest full of secrets about how galaxies formed way back in the early days of the universe. Scientists have been scratching their heads over these galaxies since 2022. They don't fit into what we thought we knew about how galaxies evolved. The James Webb Telescope, even though it's still pretty new, has been showing us glimpses of what the early universe was like. And as the mission goes on, we're hoping to find even crazier stuff, like super big black holes that were around before the universe itself, and galaxies that seem to bend the rules of physics. It's like a space adventure that keeps getting more and more exciting. Imagine scientists have been arguing for a long time about how old the universe is. The main idea everyone agreed on was that it's about 13.8 billion years old and started with a huge explosion called the Big Bang. But now some new evidence has popped up and it's making everyone rethink things. It's like throwing a curveball into our understanding of the universe. We thought we had it all figured out, but now there's more to learn and understand. It's like adding extra layers to a puzzle we thought we had completed. So there's this concept called redshift that's pretty important in understanding how our universe works. Imagine you're looking at distant galaxies through a telescope, and instead of seeing their colors as they really are, they look more reddish. This redshift thing has been a big clue for scientists that the universe is expanding. It's like when you're on a moving train and things outside seem to move away from you. But now, there's this scientist named Fritz Zwicky who had a different idea almost 100 years ago. He thought that maybe light changes as it travels through space. So, instead of galaxies zooming away from each other, the light from them might just be getting tired and losing energy, making it look redder. If Zwicky's idea is right, it would shake up a lot of what we thought we knew about the universe. It would mean the universe might not be expanding from a single point like we thought with the Big Bang. Instead, it could mean the universe works in a totally different way than we imagined. So, scientists are going back to the drawing board to figure out what this means for how the universe began and how it's changing over time. It's like a big mystery that's still being solved. Zwicky's theory isn't just about how old the universe is, it goes way deeper. It could change everything we thought we knew about space, time, and the universe itself. Imagine everything you thought about the universe suddenly being questioned. It's like saying, hey, maybe we've been looking at this all wrong. As scientists dig into these big questions, we're entering a whole new era of space exploration. This new way of thinking makes us wonder even more about what the universe is really like. Is it never ending, stretching out forever? Are we just one tiny part of a huge universe, like a bubble in a bubble bath? And could there be stuff beyond what we can even imagine, making reality way more complicated than we thought? These are the kinds of questions that used to be left to philosophers to ponder, but now scientists are jumping in too. It's like we're on the brink of some major discoveries that could totally change how we see the universe. It's pretty exciting stuff. Our journey to figure out how old and how big the universe really is can be pretty tricky. We're not totally sure if we'll get all the answers we're looking for. There could be surprises waiting for us around every corner, making our job of understanding the universe even harder. If we look back in history, not too long ago, people believed some pretty wild things. They thought the Earth was flat and that the sun moved around us. But now, we're peering way out into space, billions of light years away, and finding things we never even imagined. 
It's like the universe is playing tricks on us, making us rethink what we know about how big and complicated it is. For those who want clear answers and proof, the mysterious nature of the universe might be frustrating. But for people who love learning and solving puzzles, the James Webb Space Telescope is like a treasure chest full of new discoveries waiting to be found. Every time we look deeper into space with tools like James Webb, we're reminded that the universe is huge, mysterious, and always giving us more to learn. It's like a never-ending adventure, inviting us to keep exploring and figuring out its secrets. So imagine you're in the world of science, and there's this researcher named Rendra Gupta. Well, in 2023, he came up with this really cool idea that shook up how we think about the universe. He suggested that maybe the universe isn't as young as we thought. Instead of being 13.8 billion years old like everyone believed, Gupta said it could be as old as 26.7 billion years. Or even older. That's like saying the universe has been around for way longer than we ever imagined. Gupta got this idea by looking at some new discoveries, like Zwicky's tired light thing, and rethinking some of the basic rules of space. It's like he's turning everything we thought we knew about the universe upside down. Now, it's important to remember that Gupta's theory doesn't prove for sure how old the universe really is. But it's like he's opened a door to a whole new way of thinking about it. By using tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists might find even more evidence to support Gupta's idea. If he's right, it would mean the universe is way different than we ever thought. We might have to rethink everything we know about how the universe began and how it's changed over time. It's like a big mystery waiting to be solved. One thing we can be sure of, the more we observe the universe, the closer we get to understanding how it really works. For a long time, scientists have been studying things like black holes and how galaxies move, and everything seemed to fit with what we already knew about how the universe works. But now there are all these new discoveries and ideas popping up, and it's like everything we thought we knew is being questioned. This shakeup in how we understand the universe could be a big deal. It might mean we're on the verge of a huge breakthrough in physics, where we finally figure out how the tiny stuff, like atoms, and the really big stuff, like galaxies, fit together. It's like we're about to connect all the dots and get a clearer picture of how the universe began and what it's made of. As scientists keep pushing the limits of what we know, we might be on the brink of a whole new way of understanding the cosmos. It's like we're standing at the edge of a cliff, about to take a leap into a whole new era of knowledge about the universe. It's pretty exciting stuff. Physics is really pushing the limits of what we thought was possible. It's like we're in a big puzzle, trying to figure out how the universe works. But now we're finding pieces that don't fit where we expected them to. In astrophysics, scientists are studying galaxies and these super old, super huge black holes. But it's tough. They're running into roadblocks as they try to understand these big mysteries of the cosmos. It's like trying to solve a really hard puzzle without all the pieces. And in the world of particle physics, things are just as confusing. Scientists are trying to figure out what everything in the universe is made of, but it's like hitting a wall. The smallest particles are acting all crazy, not following the rules we thought they did. It's like trying to catch fireflies in the dark. They keep blinking in and out, making it really hard to see what's going on. Even when we look at the big picture of the universe, it's not making things any easier. As scientists explore deeper into space, they're finding things that don't match up with what we thought about the Big Bang and how the universe is supposed to be expanding. It's like the universe is throwing us a curveball, making us rethink everything we thought we knew. So, physics is in a bit of a pickle right now. But scientists love a challenge, and they're working hard to crack these cosmic mysteries. It's like we're on a big adventure, trying to unlock the secrets of the universe, one puzzle piece at a time. Even though physics is facing some tough challenges right now, it's also a really exciting time. Scientists are right on the edge of discovering some really big things that could totally change how we see the universe. We're talking about a whole new era of understanding, where we might finally figure out how everything in the universe fits together, from the tiniest particles to the biggest galaxies. It's like... We're about to unlock some of the universe's biggest secrets. But getting there won't be easy.
Some big names in astrophysics might have to step back and let new ideas take the spotlight. See, there's this debate going on among scientists about whether some of our long-held theories are actually right. Things like the Big Bang and how the universe is expanding, we've never actually seen them happen, so some scientists are questioning if they're really true. With all these challenges, scientists have a tough job ahead of them. They've got to figure out what's really going on in the universe, and that means coming together and agreeing on the basics. It's like trying to solve a giant puzzle with pieces that don't quite fit, but scientists are up for the challenge. Who knows what amazing discoveries lie ahead? It's a real cosmic adventure. Right now in the world of physics, things are pretty amazing. We're pushing the limits of what we know and finding out all kinds of new stuff. The James Webb Space Telescope is showing us things we never thought possible, like galaxies that are older than the universe itself. But what's surprising is that some scientists aren't fully on board with these mind-blowing discoveries. It's kind of like what happened way back in the Middle Ages with this guy named Galileo Galilei. He got in big trouble with the church because he said the earth went around the sun, not the other way around like everyone thought. Even though he had a ton of evidence to back him up, he ended up in jail because people didn't want to accept his ideas. Now we're seeing something similar today. Some scientists are sticking to old theories, even when faced with evidence that says they might be wrong. They're not fully embracing the amazing discoveries that James Webb is showing us, like those super old galaxies. But history shows us that when we challenge old ideas, we can make huge leaps forward in understanding the universe. Just like Galileo's discoveries changed everything about how we see the world, James Webb's findings are pushing the boundaries of what we know about space. It's a reminder that sometimes we have to let go of old beliefs to make room for new ones, even if it's hard to do. That's how science moves forward. In the middle of all these challenges, there's a bright spot thanks to young researchers like Rohan Naidu from Harvard University. He's part of a new wave of astronomers and space scientists who aren't just accepting things the way they've always been. They're coming up with fresh ideas and using new methods to understand the universe. Naidu did something pretty cool with data from the James Webb Space Telescope. As soon as NASA released it, he used his own special computer program to analyze it. And guess what? He found something amazing. A galaxy called Glass Z13 that's a whopping 13.6 billion years old. That means it was around just 200 million years after the Big Bang supposedly happened. But here's the thing. Galaxies usually take a few hundred million, or even a couple billion years to form. So, finding one that early raises some big questions. This discovery caused a big stir in the science world. People started questioning how reliable the measurements of redshift, which help figure out how far away things are in space, really are. And they started looking closely at how James Webb Telescope does its observations. At first, some scientists weren't sure if Naidu's findings were right. But after a lot of checking and double-checking, they confirmed he was onto something big. What's really cool about all this is that James Webb Telescope is changing how we think about space. It's making even the most confident scientists rethink their ideas. It's like we're rewriting the rulebook on astrophysics, and the young researchers like Naidu are leading the charge. So, there's this really important astronomer named Michio Kaku in the United States, and he's super excited about the recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope. Kaku is famous for trying to connect two big ideas in physics, quantum physics and astrophysics. He thinks the stuff James Webb is finding is game-changing. He says James Webb is basically shaking up how we understand astrophysics. This surprised a lot of scientists because they were expecting the telescope to just confirm what they already thought, but instead, it's turning things upside down. Kaku's reaction shows just how big of a deal this is for our understanding of the universe. It's like James Webb is rewriting the rules of astrophysics. And even top scientists like Kaku are blown away by what it's showing us. It's like we're on the edge of a whole new way of seeing the cosmos. Now the big question is whether all the scientists will agree on what these amazing discoveries mean. Kaku thinks it's really important for them to do so because, well, the universe doesn't lie. He's saying that scientists need to update their ideas to fit with what James Webb is showing us. It's like if you're doing a puzzle and you realize some pieces don't fit, 
you've got to find the right ones to make the picture clear. Right now, lots of new discoveries are going through a process called peer review. This means other scientists in the same field are checking the research to make sure it's solid. Sometimes they find mistakes, but that's okay because it helps make the science better. It's like polishing a gem to make it shine brighter. So as more discoveries go through this careful checking process, scientists will probably be more careful about saying their findings are absolute truths. It's like they're making sure they've got all the right puzzle pieces before they show off the finished picture. All right, so there's this idea that the Big Bang happened about 13.8 billion years ago, and some people aren't too sure about it. Even a super-respected astrophysicist named Sir Roger Penrose thinks we shouldn't be too stuck on this idea. He's saying we need to be open to changing our minds based on new info. With all the cool stuff we're finding out now, he thinks it's really important to update our theories to fit with what we're actually seeing out there in space. This idea reminds us that science is always changing and growing. It's like updating your computer software to get rid of bugs and make it run smoother. So even though we've believed in the Big Bang for a while, it's okay to rethink things when new evidence comes along. That's how we keep learning more about the universe. So there's this thing called dark matter that scientists think makes up a big chunk of the universe. But here's the thing. We're not totally sure if it actually exists. And if it turns out that dark matter isn't real, it could mess up a lot of the theories we have about how the universe works. See, a lot of the models we use to understand the universe rely on dark matter being there. But if it's not, it's like the whole framework of our ideas about space could fall apart. If that happens, scientists would have to go back to the drawing board and figure out a whole new way to understand the universe and its basic stuff. It's like... If you're building a house and suddenly find out the foundation isn't as strong as you thought, you've got to start over and rebuild it from scratch. So, the uncertainty about dark matter is a pretty big deal. It's like a mystery that scientists are still trying to solve, and the answer could change everything we know about the universe. So, here's a big question. Can this mission called Euclid, which was launched to map out the universe really well, help us figure out if dark matter is real? Euclid's been up in space since 2023, doing its job of making the most detailed map of the universe ever. Unlike the James Webb Telescope, which looks at individual things in space, Euclid looks at big chunks of space all at once. Part of Euclid's mission is to study things like dark matter and dark energy. These are big ideas in space science that we're not totally sure about yet. They're like puzzle pieces we haven't quite figured out how to fit into our picture of the universe. If Euclid's data doesn't show any evidence for dark matter or dark energy, it could be a big deal. Lots of scientists have believed in these things for a long time, so if they're not there, it would be like saying, hey, maybe we've been looking at this wrong all along. So, everyone's waiting to see what Euclid finds. There could be some really important discoveries waiting for us, and they might change everything we thought we knew about space. It's like waiting for the biggest plot twist in the universe's story.